Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today, we're going to be playing some more Shin Megami Tensei 5. In the last episode, a lot of big shit happened. Um, we met Nua, uh, the mother goddess. And uh, we also met her other half, who I'm forgetting his name, but he has a cool design. And I think he's a cop. <laughs> I think he's wearing a police uniform. Now, I don't know if he comes from our time or not. Um, but there was some dialogue right at the end when she let us go and let us live um, that implied that we're going to go through a portal that may take us back to Tokyo before um, the apocalypse. Where are you going? Detecting signs of life further in and maybe a survivor. We should hurry to their aid. Okay. I was going to go and try and heal, but I'm assuming that since they're making us move forward, they're not going to force us into another fight. Um, if that's not the case... Um, we're gonna have to be using a lot of items because that new fight really, really drained us. HP, MP, people are down, all sorts of things. Just in case there's anything that's gonna give us experience, I'm gonna recarm our people. But yeah, look at this place. Um, well, at least they picked up all the dead angels off the ground. Yeah, Nua, Nua and this uh, police officer, they really did some work. Huh. It looks like they all got turned to stone while they were fighting. That's kind of interesting. Those ones are actually just statues, but these ones seem like almost there was an actual fight. The fact that they're the same on both sides, though, kind of, uh, maybe not then? I don't know. Dude, this is cool. Oni. That one's power? I think that one's power. Um, you have a crazy name that I can't pronounce, ever. Um, is that... Oh, I know what you are. You're the... The thing that... Yeah, that's the skull. And... There's a snake coming out of it. What was your name, though? What was your name? I don't remember. Some archangels... Does I? Are you going to be back here? Oh, is that him? No, what is that? Ah, yes, it is. Not another one. Wait, wait a second. I know that face. Have you seen his hat? It's a sucker. <laughs> it's almost as bad as get smoked. Is that you? It's me, Ichiro Dazai. Boy, am I glad to see you're all right, man. But, uh, why do you look so different, though? Whoa. Wait, so you're saying this is all because you fused with that Aogami guy? I see. Strange turn of events. What? You're here too, huh? Okay. Good to see you and Dazai are fine as well. Huh? Atsuta? Yuzuru Atsuta? I was in the tunnel. Same as you. It's a relief to know we all made it out okay. Are we the only three humans that now came that through at that time? I'll leave it to you to decide our next move. I guess that makes sense. Y yeah. Lead the way. Are we gonna be able to pull other humans through that portal, maybe? Hey. Are more hey. of our friends going to be coming? Hey. That would make a lot of sense. Hmm. Oh, well, well, that was a big surprise, right? <laughs> right? That demon was freaky strong. Can't believe it scared me off like that. <laughs> <laughs> she just booked it, and she's like, oh, hey, you're alive still. So let me join back up with you real quick. Hey, looks like you found who you were looking for. Well, good for you. Oh, I guess from here on out, 
You're gonna go with those humans, huh? <laughs> totally. Oh, uh, she said. Nothing. Never mind. I'm not lonely or anything. I've been on my own this whole time, you know. All right, so if we're about to go through a portal that takes us back to Tokyo, there has to be something that's gonna draw us back in, right? I wonder if there's gonna be an element to this game of being able to change time? Change the past? If so, that would give us an incentive to actually come back, possibly? Because otherwise, why would we want to come back, you know what I mean? I guess, like, since the apocalypse is gonna happen anyway? Hmm, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, thanks for bringing me along all this way. I'm gonna hang around here for a bit longer, so just let me know if you want me to come with you, alright? I mean, you probably could come with me, right? We know the demons are attacking people already back there 20 years ago. Well, I'm out of here. So we know they can Bye -bye. be in that world. See you later. Before the apocalypse. Amanazako left. Okay, well, we found Dazai. Yuzuru's here as well. Now, Yuzuru was talking earlier about he met up with a group. Was it a group of demons, angels, um, or other humans? It almost sounded like he found, like, a resistance group of humans, but that were fighting demons. Because they gave him, like, a basically a demon program, right? Where he can summon demons. So he's basically kind of like a human demon summoner, whereas we're a Nahobino. So, like, the way he's functioning in this world is different than us. So, I'm wondering if we're going to run into this faction of other humans and learn more about them. Or if I'm just misremembering and none of that is true. <laughs> By the way. I know I asked you to decide our next move, but what do you suggest we do now? You mentioned what Yakumo said. Mm. So there's a transportation device up ahead that'll take us back to the old Tokyo, right? <laughs> hey, yo, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's hurry up and get back home. You wish you were as cool. Okay. I don't like this guy very much. <laughs> he's kind of a he's kind of a weird dude. Maybe he'll grow on me. Is that one Dominion? I think that one might be Dominion. Another power, some Oni. This is cool. So who came through and turned him to stone? Do we got a Medusa in this in this game? Oh no shit! This oh is cool. Algami from the Bethel Japanese branch. Do you copy? Algami. Is in the unit from way back when? If you don't recognize this, I have successfully reactivated, returning to base. I Go and watch it. my SMT3 playthrough. I'm gonna have to report this, but you're clear to come through. Touching the terminal should bring you straight here. Now, who are you talking to? Like, who was that? Looks like we'll be able to head back to the Tokyo we call home. Yeah, man, this game definitely takes a lot from SMT3. I wonder how many ties are actually gonna be there. I'm so glad that we played it before this. We played it earlier this summer, by the way. We have a full, complete playthrough on the channel, so go and check it out for sure. But yeah, those were our save spots in SMT3, as well as our transportation, um, how we transported around the world. We've arrived. Is this... Are we back in Tokyo? So he can pop yes. out of us at will, huh? This is Joeyn University's medical research lab. We came in here through the Bethel terminal. <laughs> what? That form just now. Oh. Explain yourself. Abdiel. Archangel Abdiel. Bethel's voice of the Seraphim. Archangel Abdiel. Am I to understand you went against the condemnation? Answer, boy. 
Bethel will have no mercy for one who violates the will of God. I don't know, man. Wait. Master Abdiel. So far, Nua's looking... What the hell, girl? I don't know what led to this, but he is an innocent bystander. Please forgive him. Did everybody know about this shit except me? The saint. Furthermore, uh. we both know God's laws are not so easily broken. Unbreakable, even. Then, how would you account for this? Allow the Japanese branch to look into it. Though, what I can tell you is that this is the one they lost all those years ago. <laughs> Respectfully, Master Abdiel, I heard you were in command at the time. Oh, is she calling her out right now? That seems dangerous. In which case, I would have imagined you'd be elated by the return of your subordinate, not angered by it. Very well. However, I am placing full responsibility on the Japanese branch to investigate. Her name was Tao, right? Man, talk about scary. What's up with her? Yeah, dudes. I don't know. We just... We just met Nua, and we just got more of Abdiel. I don't know. I, I might I might be with Nua on this one. So that's the Archangel in charge of headquarters. I was starting to worry about all of you. Nevertheless, welcome back. I think an explanation is in order. Would you mind joining me in the meeting room? Don't act all innocent. Little secret keeper over here. Okay. A lot is happening. The terminal. The Bethel Japanese branch is based at Joan uh, University Medical Research Lab, where a device known as a terminal can be found. The terminal has the same functionality as a ley line found. As a result, you can use it to save your progress and access ley line crossing. It would be a good idea to keep this terminal in mind as you move about in Tokyo. So we can just go back in time whenever we want now? That's wild. That is wild. Yeah, that's going to be an expensive heal. We finally have some money. Nice work! 45 Mimon. An avatar talisman. On ya. Find 50 and you've got another reward coming your way. Keep those eyes peeled. Hmm? Looking to say. <laughs> say. Need any. See you next. I was actually surprised in the last episode when I was able to beat Nua. <laughs> I mean, you could tell I was getting nervous when I was noticing how fast my MP was draining as we were just unloading even into her weaknesses. And I was like, ooh, there's no way we're getting through this whole bar. But we made it. If only barely. Three people went down. You decided to go to the meeting room where Tao is waiting. Now, where do I start? I guess I should start with me. To put it plainly, I've had spiritual powers ever since I was little. Everyone at Bethel calls me the saint. So you're probably the goddess, right? The, or the, what do they call it in these games? Um, but yeah, so the saint, you're probably the equivalent of uh, the teacher from three. Um, 
I mean, Shin Megami Tensei means new goddess reborn or something like that, right? Or reincarnated, the reincarnated goddess. And so that might be her. Bethel Japan lost a lot of its strength in a battle many years ago. So these days, even students like me are helping out. Just keep in mind, like, I'm fairly new to SMT at this point. I played my first one this summer, so um, there's a lot of stuff that I don't fully grasp that people who have been playing for years are like, they've got down pat, so. If you want to help me out in the comments, feel free to. It's the same for me too. But never mind that. Is Tokyo still okay? Not long ago, we were in what looked like ruins, and they were crawling with demons. It was almost as if the city had been destroyed. So this is the entity he's working with. If I told you the Tokyo you'd been living in this whole time was a lie, would you believe me? Like a simulation? Hmm, okay. Okay, I see. Huh? 18 years ago, something happened in the Chiyoda Ward of Tokyo that suddenly erased the city from the rest of Japan. Its population of over 10 million people was wiped out in a matter of minutes, lost to the netherworld. What are you talking about, Isonokami? We've been living in Tokyo as far as I can tell. You want to try explaining that? The Tokyo you're referring to is an act of God. Through his miracle, Tokyo and its people were perfectly recreated. No one suspected a thing. Interesting. So we actually aren't doing any time traveling. We've always been in this fake world, and we just kind of like got to see the other side of this netherworld. You mean everything up until now? It's all been fake? As I said, the real Tokyo was destroyed 18 years ago. You saw it when you slipped into the netherworld. That's impossible. The real Tokyo has been completely overrun by demons. As if one Tokyo wasn't enough, the demons now covet the other, and all for our souls. Though we are few, that is what the Bethel Japanese branch fights to protect. Well, you look familiar. Algami must be based on this guy, huh? I hope the saint has cleared things up for you. Apologies for dragging you into this. Hey, uh, haven't I seen you somewhere before? <laughs> Look to your left, bro. My name is Koshimizu. I'm in charge here, in addition to being Japan's prime minister. Okay, Japanese prime minister and director of Bethel, Japan. Everybody works for Bethel. Wait, oh my God. as in Director Koshimizu? One of the top-ranking officials in the Japanese branch? He and the Prime Minister are the same person? Indeed. Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Atsuta. Now that you've been made aware of what happened to the real Tokyo, it's best I enlighten you as to the true state of the world. To put it plainly, the forces of order and chaos are currently clashing behind the scenes, locked in an ongoing battle unbeknownst to mankind. Because mankind is kind of just in this little fake bubble. Demons seek human souls. If given the chance, they would flood the real world in an instant. They are extremely dangerous. That's why Bethel Japan is dedicated to protecting Tokyo and keeping the demons at bay. The demons are relentless, however, and the unfortunate truth of the matter is that we're woefully lacking in manpower. In fact, Bethel's strength is so short of the mark, we've been forced to rely on students such as Isonokami and Atsuta for help. No way! Is that something I could help with too, Mr. Prime Minister? Says the guy who was cowering in a corner. I mean, to be fair, I would too, especially if I couldn't command demons myself. <laughs> you mean protecting Tokyo? Yeah, I'll do whatever I can. Does I? Look, I'm borderline useless at school, and I'm always making trouble for other people. But even a guy like me wants to be someone people can turn to, just like the honor students. Thank you. I admire your courage. I've heard about you, so you fused with Algami, is that it? I'll be asking for your cooperation as well. 
Sorry, but I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Never signed out for this. Um. Okay, that's fine. Good to see you're on our side. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. I'm thankful the Proto-Fiend returned safely. Though, I've never heard of it fusing with a human before. I played a role in Algami's creation myself. I'll be running a variety of tests later. Yeah, that seems obvious. Algami, I'd like to examine your memory data. Make your way to the research facility later today. He must be really full of himself. He made Algami look exactly like him. Understood. I'll visit with the rest of you some other time. For now, I want you to go home and get some rest. Sir! And lastly, Yuzuru Atsuta. Well done in coming back unharmed. Your summoning skills must have improved. I'll be sure to grant you an even stronger demon companion next time. Thank you, sir. Okay. A lot just happened. We're meeting some of the factions involved. I should apologize for hiding the fact that I was involved with Bethel. I didn't want to get you involved, but I also didn't think the situation would become as dire as it is now. Dude, I get to protect Tokyo? How cool is that? First one to die right there. I'm gonna be fighting alongside all those big names at school. Me? A big reason I don't do all that well in school is because, honestly, I'm just not very confident in myself. Even though my parents aren't divorced, they really don't get along. So I guess I've always just been looking for a way to fix things. But if I side with my dad, my mom gets all pissed. And it's the same for my old man if I ever side with my mom. I don't know what's right anymore. Protecting Tokyo from demons though? That's gotta be a good thing. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm glad we're both all right. Let's work together to keep Tokyo safe. We should probably head back. We've got school tomorrow. Uh, really? Is that really important? <laughs> Sure. I mean, if you say so. School hardly seems important. And this is where they introduce social links. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning. It's a joke. It's a joke, guys. Okay. Unexpected. Wholly unexpected. Morning. Yesterday was a mess, huh? I really am glad you're okay after all that. Okay, stretching in a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I know what you mean. That was a lot to deal with, huh? All this stuff about demons and gods and weird supernatural conflict, I'd feel a little overloaded too. But all these gods across the world are working together to keep the peace. Let's keep what happened yesterday a secret, okay? For now we can just get back to being plain old high school students. See ya! Anyway, I'll see you around. Uh... I got this friend of a friend and he said he was... He saw what looked like a tiny human flying through the air. <sighs> yeah, right. Friend of a friend. Already sounds pretty sketchy to me. Uh... <sighs> I guess that would probably be a pixie. <sighs> Bullying, huh? And you can't count on the school or the teachers to help. Your only choice is to gather proof through voice recordings or something, and then defend yourself. <sighs> Making sure there's nothing else on the map.
Cartier on the track team went missing last week. They didn't show up at the dorm either. Something horrible is gonna happen in this little dome of ours, isn't it? Before the end of this game, shit's gonna go down inside this dome. Hmm. Hopefully they just ran away from home. I guess that's not really good either, huh? <laughs> Morning, my day doesn't start until I have a carton of coffee milk. Dude, I cannot live without my coffee either, bro. I feel you. I feel you. Speaking of bullying. Ugh, I can't stand her. How long do you think until she cracks? <laughs> I can't wait to see her break down in tears. Sahori Itsuki Itsukishima. Itsukishima. I can't take this anymore. Why me? Why is this happening? It's all their fault. I wish they'd all just disappear. She's the weak link. I'm calling it right now. I love speculating in these games, by the way. Do not confirm or deny any speculation that I make. Um, I could, would consider that a spoiler. I'm speculating for the fun of it, just because I want record to know if I'm right or wrong in the future. Um, but don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. She's the weak link. In some way, she is going to betray humanity, and she's going to let demons into this dome. I'm calling it. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Who's there? Okay. <laughs> They're, they're already confirming it for me. Yep, she's the weak link. She's gonna literally let loose hell in this place. Mark my words. Uh... I heard there was some nasty bullying happening on the girls lacrosse team. Seems like the girl ended up quitting, but I wonder if the bullying is still going on. Pretty scary thought, huh? Hey! Hi, Miyazu. Oh, Analog, my brother told me what happened yesterday. Uh, Tao returned after that, so we went back together. Thank you for helping my brother. What exactly did he tell you? <laughs> Probably not the truth. Um. Analog, I hope you and my brother can keep getting along. He's serious and more stubborn than most, and he's known for being pretty inflexible, too. Everyone thinks he's annoying, so he doesn't have many friends. But he's looked out for me for as long as I can remember, especially with me not being very strong and everything. He's a really caring person, deep down. I, am um, really, I can't do anything without my brother, so I have no choice but to rely on him. Why do I get the, dis like, distinct feeling of needing to protect this poor little scared girl? <laughs> oh, right. You know, talking with Tao reminded me of this strange dream I had when I was little. A prince from another country came, speci specifically for me. It was kind of embarrassing, to be honest. Oh, but the prince wasn't riding the typical white horse and all that. He sailed a boat through the night sky. <laughs> strange, huh? A little bit. She's got a lot of dialogue. Um, thank you for yesterday. You're welcome. I guess. You know what? The government and the JSDF are working together to develop a program that summons demons. That's the rumor going around. I'm sorry, what? This is just like common knowledge that this is happening? It'd be interesting if I could get a program like that for occult research purposes. <sighs> Morning practice was killer, but we've got a match coming up soon. We're up against a team that has a medalist for a coach. I hope we can at least put up a fight. Man, they introduced so many characters, I can't remember, like, half of their names. The guy who looks like Algami. So, he gave, um, he gave Yuzuru a demon summoning program. Okay. Morning, man. Nice being back home again, huh? Me? I stayed in Bethel. Got this big lecture about how this demon summoning stuff works. And the Bethel guys even said I've got this natural talent for it. <laughs> Can you believe that? I'm a demon summoner. 
So, I mean... Hmm. Bethel seems like a piece of shit. And the god who stole knowledge, like, seems like a piece of shit, right? But, like, at least the forces of Bethel are protecting humans right now. So there's that going for them. Like, they're keeping this little dome safe. And I can't really, like, fault them for that. Like, that's a good thing for them to do. But, hmm. I got a lot to think about. That means I can protect people. Like a real hero. So, I'm gonna give this all I got. Anyhow, sorry to bug you. <laughs> See ya! Yeah. Morning, Analog. Great. First year classroom... First room classrooms are on the top floor. Way to make me commute, guys. Oh, you know. You're a third year, so your classroom is on the second floor, right? And aw, oh, man, you're in class 3A, too, so you're right next to the stairs. Lucky. Must be nice to have your classroom so close by. Locked here. <sighs> hmm. So, is there a video up about monsters in Takanawa Tunnel? No. Guess Ichiro lied again. <sighs> Even though he said he'd do it himself, huh? Well, it's not like he's never half-assed something before, so I'm not surprised. Uh... In other news, they're saying the train is late again. Well, it'll probably be back once school's over. <sighs> you know how our school attracts a lot of applicants from all over the country? Well, the guy in the next class over, Ichiro, I think, that idiot got in on a recommendation too, so who knows how the screening process works. That's rude. It's really rude. <laughs> what the hell? Uh-oh, is this gonna progress story? I wanted to talk to more people. Oh well. Yeah, she's like super popular, right? Yuzuru's like the smartest kid in school. Tao's I'll the rise. most popular. Good morning, sir. Okay, that's it for today. All rise. Thank you, sir. So lucky, you get to be friends with Tao, the school idol. Yo. When you hear famous person in the next class over, who comes to mind? Do you think of the top student at our school, or do you think of the no-name loser on the other end of the spectrum? Speaking of that loser, he sure was in a good mood today. Did his video take off or something? Nah, no friggin' way. Okay, listen. I know I just said that I don't like Dazai that much, he seems weird, but like, that's a step too far, bro. Don't be that rude. Oh. Oh, cool. Thanks for doing that. Look, can I talk to you about something? I don't know what I mean, she not said. Not right now, just when you've got time. Right when it triggered that dialogue, I was trying to push A to talk to that other guy, so, my bad. Sure, I'll listen. Thanks. But I can't really talk about it at school. Maybe on the dorm roof later tonight. See you then. Yeah, the auto sucks in this game, dude. They need to fix that. They need to patch that. That's not okay. Oh, you know. Did Ichiro give up on the whole content creation thing and pick up something else? 
He wouldn't tell me anything when I asked. He sure looked smug though. Maybe that's why I didn't like him very much. He's a content creator. Those people are gross. Gosh, they're the worst, aren't they? Ugh. Freaking YouTubers. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want to stop by somewhere on the way back? Uh... Yeah, let me check if there's anything interesting going on. So... Man, you're always messing with your phone. You got an addiction? Uh... Shut up. Hey, this looks cool. Yeah. Hey there, Analog. <sighs> Honestly, why'd they have to put the dorm so far away? We've got to go from the east exit of the train station and walk all the way to the coast. Guess that's just how it is in the city. All this dude does is complain about where he has to walk. <laughs> oh. oh, um, hi there. Who was that? Oh, it's Akishima? She was hurt, so I just wanted to help a little. The nurse is out for the day, so I just did what I could. Look, um, do you know how Itsukishima's been getting these injuries? I think a demon is, like, harassing her. I don't know how to say this, but those bruises couldn't all be oh, accidents. Man, that sucks. I wish I could help. I hope she's okay. Okay, so, she is being bullied, so some of the bruises are probably actually just legitimate bullying. But is there also an element of this demon is harassing her? We know that, like, the demons in this world aren't necessarily seen, because remember, at the beginning of the game, they talked about, you know, somebody got their bag cut up, and I'm assuming that that's like a demon or something that probably can't be seen that somehow got into the system. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's some of that, too. I wish I could help. I hope she's okay. You know what? Priests, ascetics, monks, Miko, Mudang. The government is gathering a team of people with spiritual powers. That's the rumor going around. That's so wrong. If they want an expert in the occult, they should just ask me. <sighs> Practice is canceled, huh? But I don't want to head back to the dorm either. There's nothing to do by the station either. So my choices are either check the theater at the Princess Hotel or go all the way to Shibuya. <sighs> I just saw some bowling taking place. Someone got shoved to the ground and skinned their knee. Oh, I, that must have been our girl. I think they went to the infirmary afterwards, but man, that was messed up. I already feel bad for this girl. It's gonna lead her to some dark places in this game, I think. Hello. Yesterday was eventful, wasn't it? I taught Dazai how to summon demons afterwards. He picked it up fast and... Bethel certainly isn't complaining. I just don't know if it was right. He was an ordinary student with an ordinary life, and now I've drawn him into this conflict. He's a soldier in this war now. I chose to fight of my own volition. But does I? I'm starting to get the impression that, like, Bethel isn't representative of a person, but it, the entity. And that makes a lot of sense because Bethel, in kind of like religious terms, is in some ways considered a god, but is actually a location or a place. Um, interesting. Anyways, I'll move on. Not just him. I dragged you into this as well. If I'd been more capable, more powerful, maybe I could have handled this on my own. But if I want to be stronger, I'll have to do my part on the front lines. Especially now that we have new power on our side. Let's both keep at it. We'll make sure Tokyo stays safe. So yeah, it's like it's like the angel organization, Bethel. Mm. That reminds
reminds me, did you hear about that accident with the tunnel collapsing? Yeah. yeah, I heard a student from our school got caught in it. But it sounds like they weren't hurt too bad. <sighs> Has occult research been getting popular again recently? I'm hearing all this talk about monsters or ghosts appearing in tunnels and stuff. I don't really want to believe any of it, but a lot of students say they've actually seen them. What? The store is closed? No, I wanted to get some strawberry milk. This dude loves his milk. Coffee milk? Strawberry milk? <sighs> people were saying the world would end or something 20 years ago, too. I guess there'll always be people saying depressing stuff like that, no matter how times change. I got this friend of a friend and he said he saw this tanned, muscular monk at Jozoji. Oh yeah, we met that guy! <clears throat> a muscular monk sounds like something out of a fighting game. Yeah, we met that guy. Yo. He's the one who gave us my favorite thing, the teleport back to the uh, ley line. <laughs> Do you know Sehori Itsu Itsukishima? I just passed her, but she looked really down. Something's really getting to her. <laughs> she always seems so strong and gorgeous too. Honestly, I kind of looked up to her. Uh, uh, not that she'd ever notice a guy like me. You need to get some confidence, bro. <sighs> Still, seeing her like this now is killing me. I want to help her, but I'm just some nobody. Dazai. Ichiro. Have some confidence, my man. Have some confidence. And... Honestly, it might help if you stop wearing the hat. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, might, might help with your image. It's a bad hat. And that's coming from a guy who literally wears a hat almost always. That's a bad hat. Huh? There's been a cave-in accident at the tunnel? Are the trains still running? Medical research lab is over here. Do you know that there's a renowned research lab nearby? Oh, and the hospital attached to it is equally illustrious. But I've heard the Prime Minister has been visiting the place quite often lately. You don't think he's sick, do you? I hope he's alright. Hee ho! Can you see me ho? I fell into this dimensional chasm and ended up in this big old city, ho. A lost demon. There are humans everywhere. It's terrifying, ho. I want to go home to my Tokyo. Okay, is that a Jack Frost? I guess the uh, jack-o'-lanterns also hee-ho. There's a couple of them who use hee-ho. Bathhouse is actually built on a hot spring. First step on my daily routine is dropping by, so I can be first in the water. Just seeing this hill in Minato makes me want to run up it. Sometimes the PM seems too good to be true. They say public servants only really serve themselves. But I don't know if that's it either. The PM are the police, right? Well, anyway, I'll be asking those important questions and digging deeper into that on the Sunday morning talk show. Ugh, we're covering another murder scene? How many is this now? Everybody getting murdered up in here. My pop used to always brag about how he was the fellow who painted the top of the Tokyo Tower. He's long since passed away, but we had a window in our house where you could see the far off tower. He would just look and smile. Yeah, this looks a little different from our tower, huh? Jizoji is an important barrier protecting Tokyo. I remember an article about it in Ayakashi Monthly. Maybe I should go pay my respects? We've been 
dispatched to clean up the tunnel accident. Don't worry, we'll handle this. Oh, you're with Bethel too? Then I might as well be transparent about it. We're stationed here to put down any demonic intruders. The Special Defense Force doesn't ordinarily get assigned to this kind of thing. Hopefully the locals don't ask too many questions. I knew that tunnel was dangerous. The ceiling suddenly collapsed. I think a student got caught in it too. I immediately called for a rescue team. I'm so glad his injuries weren't serious. Whoops. You know, I don't like games where moving the thumbstick progresses dialogue. It's only down. Left, right, and up don't, but down progresses dialogue, so I accidentally bumped it sometimes. That student said there were still two or three pe other people in the tunnel, but they didn't find anyone else. I hope they're safe. Monsters invading from another world? Are they serious with this conspiracy theory bullshit? Maybe next time go with the bioterrorist angle, guys. At least that's that one's rooted in reality. I mean, monsters? Who do they think they're selling on this? Honestly, I'd love to see some proof. Show me a monster I can pet. Oh hey, a Joan uniform. There's a lot of high schools around here, but I've never actually talked with Joan students before. The dorm and station are in the other direction, so I don't come this way often. Well, if you've got time, wanna hang out and talk? Okay, so can we actually go in the hospital right now? Yes, looks like we can. I think we're supposed to be going to the dorms, right? And then later tonight, we're going to go and talk to uh, Tao. Hmm. So this demon attacked the Tokyo Diet Building in the, nether in the Netherworld? And it sounds like she was even working with a human ally. Who are they? What the hell's going on? Bethel Japan's short on numbers these days. Can't do much to fight back. If this place gets targeted, we're finished. You should be careful too. So in the Netherworld, is there like a physical location we can go to to find like the edges of this bubble that we're in? I don't yes. know. Or is it like alternate dimension sort of thing? Like it, where that Tokyo Tower is, like the Netherworld is on the other side of that. You want to know if it's common for the Prime Minister to be Bethel's director? <laughs> no. God, no. The PM's already got mountains of work to deal with. I'd take a bureaucratic superhuman to keep up with both workloads, but Koshimizu's just that good. Have a second? This whole mess started 18 years ago, back when this netherworld we call Daat first appeared in Tokyo. It was just non-stop carnage in those early days. We lost Japan's myriad gods in that war against the demonic hordes. That's when Bethel HQ stepped in. Director Koshimizu's handled things well. Startlingly well, considering he's also the Prime Minister, but without him, HQ would have taken us over long ago. Have a second? Hmm. Okay, so HQ isn't in charge of this place. In some way, Bethel HQ, Koshimizu has like maintained some level of control here, outside of HQ's control. Interesting, okay. Don't know what that means in the grand scheme of things. I'm sure Archangel Abdiel is one of Bethel HQ's finest soldiers, but honestly, everyone at the Japan branch is pretty sick of her by now. Since it seems like this netherworld's origin point is in Tokyo, I guess it makes sense that the champion of Armageddon would stay close by. But she's been trying to push us around a lot more lately, telling us how we should do things her way instead of the way we've always done it. Okay. Nothing up here right now. I'm gonna need to brew myself some more coffee soon.
Demon appearances have been on the rise lately, so our special units on high alert. High alert. <laughs> we do have civilians cooperating with Bethel as well, though not many. That includes people like you, who can perceive demons. So not everyone can see them, that's the thing. Okay. My company just moved to around this area. Sangin was great, but I could get used to this city. Japanese coastal places tend to have English words in their names, like Isle and Gateway. Cool story. The direct line from here to the dorm is pretty far away. It's so tiring. Is that the same student who complained in the actual school too? You promised Tao you'd meet with her. You should head to the roof. Well, this looks... Yeah, there's... There's some visual hey there. ties here to Thanks 3 as coming. well. Being on a roof with a maiden. <laughs> We're just on the dorms instead of a hospital this time. What's this about? Well, it's about Sahori. I mean, Sahori Itsukishima from school. She's my friend. Probably the best friend I have. It's just... I think she's being bullied. We used to be in lacrosse together. She was such a great player. But she had to quit last year after a big accident. And that's when all this started. What's the reason? I guess the old club members held a grudge. A few people quit because Sahori's training regimen was just too much for them. She just wanted to make sure we were the best team we could be. You think there's anything I can do to help? Stay with her. Be a friend. I know, but she's been avoiding me. Still, that's no reason to give up. I'll talk to her again tomorrow. Thanks for hearing me out. I know things are crazy in Tokyo right now, but that's also why we need to fix these human problems, too. I'm glad we got to talk. Okay, night. Good night, Tao. What's this? Commence. Oh, is this that guy looking at Algami? Compiling data on the proto fiend. Look at this place. What the hell? Previously undiscovered data located. Analyzing. Analysis complete. Looks like we are picking up traces of our target. The corrupted areas have also been properly restored. Rebooting Algama. The blasphemous might of the Nahobino. Blasphemous? I don't know where this power came from, but I trust you'll come to our aid, brother. Hmm. Part of me wonder if that implies that, um, Algami is possibly actually like a human twin who was imbued with these powers somehow. Maybe. Maybe I'm reaching. I might be reaching. Maybe he's completely a construct of some kind.
Hey, are you there? He sounds winded. I just got word from the director. Demons are showing up all over Tokyo. We've deployed people throughout the city. I've been tasked with guarding the school. It sounds like he wants you over at Jozoji Temple. It's vital to our defenses. Agami's ready for action and on his way. Get over there as soon as you can. Now, why did Algami target us? When he first fused with us, he said, like, target acquired or something like that. And then he fused with us. What's that about? Okay. Looks like we got our stuff back. Um, where is the temple, by the way? Um, before we move on, I think we need to go and save. So if it's gonna, if it allows me to, I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna save and we're gonna end the episode here. A lot happened in this one. A lot happened in this one. So many characters showed up, I don't even know what the thumbnail's gonna be. Where are you going? Are you crossing into the netherworld? Then I shall accompany you for the time being. Not quite. Just saving. Okay. And with that, we're gonna end this episode. So, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, and Ivan K. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.